Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashdubs and welcome back to my channel where today we have yet another update of the game that I'm busy building. So as you know, each weekend I build on this game and then I make an update. So go ahead and check out the previous ones. Currently, what we've done last time was build this interior and had these pop-ups that tells us more about the game. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made it possible to interact with some of these characters. So for this update, there's been a few things that I've done. And the first thing is I made it so that you can interact with these characters and there's a little voice that pops up. Uh, we've seen this, di or this dialogue before, but now it's a voice and you can see that the character starts interacting and turning uh, to the character speaking. Now, this is good because for an adventure RPG uh, game, you can now have the characters put you on quests and say, hey, go and get me this item and then you can go and explore the world, bringing back that item to the character. That mechanism is not in place yet. That's what I'll work on this weekend. However, um, the, the fact that you can speak to a character is quite fun. And uh, so that's the first thing I wanted to show of the update of the game. Now, taking a closer look at how I've done this is that I've got a character, which is just a sprite. And this character's angle is positioned uh, to the top. It's known as an NPC. All NPCs have the same animations as the main player. So we can turn them uh, up, down, left and right. But I also have this trigger and it's positioned here uh, to the top because of our player's uh, collision box. So if the player hits this, uh, we can see it's the same as the previous assets uh, or the info assets where we have uh, text, we have asset, stage and type. Now the type is talk this time and the stage is going to play an important role because once Iris or this character has given us a quest, we can set the stage to one and then change the text so that when we come back, um, you know, we could either say, have you gotten the item yet? Or you still need to give me this, uh, whatever the case might be. And that's how the gameplay will unfold. And to take a closer look at the event sheet, what's happening is that each NPC will have its own ID and we will track the interaction with the player uh, to that NPC's, I would say the trigger, right? And, and we identify the trigger via the UID each item in Construct 3 has a UID. So we just identify that and we make sure that if our player hits that, uh, the character needs to turn a certain direction. We set the frame to one because that's the default stance on, in the animation. And if it's not overlapping, we simply just uh, don't do that. And you might wonder, well, how is the character then speaking? Well, that's being taken care of with our chat or the info mechanism as we know it, right? So that already takes care for us what the character needs to say based on the trigger. So you can see by reusing some of these event sheets, you quickly get to build your game even faster. And now let's move on to the second update. So I've added a mini map and how I did that was essentially I scaled down the size of the map. It used to be very, very big, but now this is going to be the size. So I took a snapshot went to Photoshop and redrew kind of the the lines of the ground. And I'll add to this mini map as I feel uh, where it's needed. But I saw this awesome YouTube video uh, of how someone implemented this. And the in essence, what you just do is you basically take your character's position on the main map. And if the main map is 14,000 pixels by 14,000 pixels, uh, all we need to do is um, track this player's tracker, which you can see here on the minimap, this green uh, little knob. Uh, all we need to do is have this calculation where we take the player's X um, and then divide it by that ratio. And then obviously the, the plus pixels is just to accommodate for where the minimap is situated. That will give us a very good uh, effect of tracking the player in game. So you can see here on the minimap, uh, there's the green dot. And as I move down, you can see the character moving on the minimap as well. So 
this gives us a great way of just showing someone where you are because if you look at this section of the screen you don't you might not know where you are and then this mini map will help us out um, with direction and also apart from direction it can also give us some guides on where we need to move next maybe we got a quest that we need to go and check out so I also have this blue tracker and this one just has a sign on it uh, for it to grow so if we put on preview you can see that it uh, goes big to small big to small in a reverse uh, sawtooth manner and this is pretty cool because now um, you know as we are in the game we can see that there's the quest or at least that's the point of interest that we need to move towards and that can uh, be set up to be bound to some kind of uh, event or trigger so that when we move uh, an important item in the game and you need to go to that location we can just um, have that pop up wherever it needs to be and your character can then know where to go to that is the update for today i think that you know with all these mechanisms in play we really are setting the ground for a fantastic adventure game we can already you know interact with some of the uh, info fields we can read about uh, these artworks we can also now go up to a character and start con uh, conversation and then from here on out i think the next thing that i want to focus on this weekend uh, might be the quests so what happens if there are two characters you go to the one and the one tells you to go and give something uh, to the other and that could be kind of a quest and a, a goal for the character and the protagonist in the the game so I'll need to find out a way of how to display items and that you collect and that you are given and um, how do we do that like an inventory and I think that's what I'll work on next but as always you can let me in the comments uh, know what what you think about the game and also what you'd like to see in it but till the next video I hope you enjoyed this one cheers for now